Thanks, Paul. I know you've spoken previously about the benefits of the map and the at the proper break and the proper pre season. He was very hard on himself last season uh, on his form. Did you have to do anything differently? Did you approach him? Did you know when to speak to him or when to back off? And do you think perhaps the plaudits that Mo Salah has been getting this year and perhaps you know, driven him on as well to recapture the former form? I, I think we can. To judge side, we can suffer that completely. Or, for example, like what it helps or whatever, but speak about him or him. Sadio is a um, world class player itself. That's it. And then you'll see that all the numbers. Um, then, so, one or two numbers are true, but I think Mo has now 108 or 109 goals. 108 goals, and Sadio has 101. Not all of them. For well, Liverpool, obviously, some of Southampton. Um, but just shows similar age group. So, what the, what the two guys did in the last few years, so for us, it's obviously not. Uh, we don't uh, make a difference there. Sadio, uh, but it was nothing needed really. Sadio, uh, for when we think about the last season, so this season, I, I didn't have long talks or whatever with him. So I was very confident, a uh, very confident person uh, and knew and felt, we all felt it from the first day of the preseason after a proper break. It was completely, it was 100% there. Uh, it was clear. It, it was always clear we will be lucky with injuries. It will be a really good season for him because that's the quality he has, um, and that's what he chose now. So I cannot um, refer often enough about how important it would be for these kind of players that they have a proper brain. You can speak about that until uh, the next one, well, next 20 years, and the authorities will not change it. So that's really that's really tough for the boys. Um, but this year, Mo and Salio had a proper break, and um, in the moment, so far, we get the benefit of that. Chris, you used to go back to the Prime Philip Hicks. He described the Godfather and the Gagan Press. What do you think, John? Are your ideas, using your ideas, are they similar to the Ralph? And if so, if I see. You're using your ideas in football very similar. It's kind of been simplistic instead of his he's kind of like philosophy of football to say he was. I don't know whether that's true or fair. I think it is true. Do you think that sort of validates in your mind that it's probably simply looks like other people are trying to copy of the success, your success personally? That's what they're trying to do, like getting in a guy who plays a high pressing game and all other people do that. And I thought just wondered if it's that's too simple a way of looking at it and not on your Yeah, it's somehow right, somehow not. It's not important, really. So, is it like this? Um, well, I've been literally. Starts uh, with his one of the press conference. I will say that probably he had a had a mentor when he was very young, a young man coach. Uh, uh, his name was Mr. Course. Um, he was a part of him for a while, and um, then he had this influence from a you know, Kiev game. I think um, uh, um, so. My influence came from Wolfgang Frank, so where I learned about these kind of things, and then we did meet for a long, long time. But uh, the approach was for sure similar in the beginning. Uh, but then uh, some ideas are similar. We are both um, determined to organize a team uh, properly. That's all true. Um, but in the end, then there's a moment when you all when, when it all splits in all directions, pretty much, because then you have to lose them. Um, so the very early starts of the of the pressing and game pressing development in Germany was purely without the ball. As a game press doesn't work, and we had to lose the ball and go for it. But the first thing was like how to organize the team and to press properly, ball orientated, um, uh, defending. That's how it was called. That was that's how it all started years, years, years ago. Um, in a time when in Germany still most of the teams, pretty much all the teams, still played three five two with a proper liberal in behind. It's kind of the we uh, WM system, so like they called in Germany WM system. Um, so that's that's when it started, and that's how we, we were all kind of educated. And of course, the younger ones. Um, so I'm younger than Ralf, so but I got um, Evo Head was already in on duty in different clubs when I started the coaching. So I, I was influenced by what the fact that's true. Um, so and I can't really compare it, but, but I know from all the talks that um, with him, that standard, a lot of ideas are not too far away from each other, that's for sure. But the job is then to do, you have an idea, you have to then adapt it to your team. And that's um, 
I found it myself not that easy uh, when you come in the middle of the season with, with um, 20 games between now and New Year's Eve, very much. That, that, that's a massive challenge because the things you want to change you have to train on the pitch. And that's, a, that's a challenge we all face, obviously, because we don't have time for that. So either if you, your team is already educated in that or you need long, long, long meetings. That's how much chance you have. So it will be interesting. Yeah, can I just want to talk about Harvey. Um, we've seen videos of him here, you know, working and trying to get back to fitness. I'm just wondering how far along he is in that. And given his age, is it kind of harder for him to recover mentally because he's still feeling player, but also easier physically because he is so young? If you understand what I mean. I do. I do. Um, I can't say me. I, I started running this morning, so it's now. We have this foot injury, so there are rusty mornings when you get up and it's you do does people well, so, but he's running outside, full body weight, good sign, that's more fine. When he will be back, I have no idea. Um, from a uh, mental point of view, Harvey is rather an old soul, I would say. He's very, very mature for the young age, um, so he's completely fine, I would say, at the moment with the situation, accepted it, deals with it, and um, everybody around him tries to help him, but maybe when you think maybe I should cheer him up a little bit, we rarely need it. He's obviously a brilliant family at home and he's a rather positive fella. Um, and yes, we all hope from a physical point of view that the young age helps him to recover quickly, but quickly is not so important. Fully is the main thing. So it does absolutely as long. I, in a moment, I hope I don't leave my words, but I cannot see a, a scenario where we would open or you think about rushing him back. It's just not he's our long term prospect. And um, each day we can get him back earlier, it's great, but we do not rush him. Oh yeah, maybe that's a that's a that's a much longer. It's a it's a thing. Even was not obvious for the outside, you can see it in games that they go for it. That they want to wind him up. Yes, we are. But that was it's, it's a two different things. One is to make Sadio. <coughs> doing really aggressive the game. I think it was yeah, against Flamengo in the in the World Cup final. Rafinha um, wanted to go for him after he. Causing some problems when we played Bayern in the Champions League. It was obvious from the first second, it was really hard. I want to, and then directly dis having a discussion with him, what do you want to, like fouling him and then getting up and then tell him it was nothing, with these kind of things. But Sal is now in age where it's much better than that. Uh, not that emotional anymore, but we all need our emotions, obviously, and sometimes we control them better and sometimes less. But yes, we had these thoughts, of course. But it was, that was not about that, because we had nothing to do with the situation. I really don't think we have to do with the situation against Arsenal pretty much as a completely normal challenge. And then bam, it's a, and it was against Madrid and I said and again, so Atletico was obvious, they had a red card. And I think you might remember this directly the next situation of a playoff, Atletico went down and make, made for Saldo Modale just to make sure, so now they get yellow or whatever as well. So that was what I was talking about. But, um, it's a long no, no, it's just that you know that we so the the the, the, the headlines we pay back with football. We pay back with football, and especially you pay back with football. So whatever they do, yeah, they make a football too.